pretty neat to see a big old family hauler like this. It still has the original big block drivetrain in it. Take a quick look today at my 1969 Chevrolet Kingswood station wagon. A lot of guys comment on the videos. Show us some of your cars. So that's what we got going today. 69 Kingswood. This is the non wood grain car. Wood grain car would have been the Kingswood Estate. So you see, just has the single skinny side trim down the center of the doors there. The two that are left anyway. Fender and quarter moldings are gone. This one's dark green, has kind of a gold interior. I bought this car probably 12 years ago on a auction. Just thought it was kind of a unique one. Pretty original car. It's got the original 396 big block V8. It is a disc brake car with a 12 volt rear end. Not sure if it's pause attraction or not. Could be. Never checked. It is a factory AC car. Power brakes. These 396s, I'm thinking it's a low horse because it's got the two barrel carburetor. See, pretty complete, pretty intact under the hood. Power steering, like pretty much all of them would have been. This car, unfortunately, sitting long enough that the engine has seized. So just means it's a little more work to get them apart to rebuild them. Doesn't mean that it's not rebuildable unless there's major engine damage inside, just really don't know till you get it apart. I've seen ones that are a little bit of condensation on one bore, and then I've also seen them that, you know, they're pretty bad inside and you're starting over. If a guy did need to start over, I do have out at my dad's a 427 block and heads, and that 427 on the pad is coded for a full-size car with an automatic so it would be correct for this if for some reason the 396 in here couldn't be revived just pretty neat to see a big old family hauler like this it still has the original big block drivetrain in it nobody's yanked it out for some hot rod project or anything like that. While we're under the hood here, just show a quick little shot of the body plate. There, it's focusing. 16446. You can see some of the front clip is gone. Driver's fender's kind of crunched. I do have a parts car, which I'll head over here in just a bit and shoot around that one and kind of show all of what's there from it that go with this wagon to complete it out. You see down below just fairly solid car overall but there are places where definitely needs some body work this side of the roof is solid and clean no rust holes but over on the driver's side you see it did kind of rust a little and they just spread some bondo over it which isn't the right way this side's pretty clean one little spot there underneath the factory lead. See some surface rust on the garnish trim on the inside, but honestly, just pretty solid around the windows for the way these wagons 
sometimes get and sometimes how you see them. See, there's definitely some old filler, old bodywork in the passenger quarter panel here, but really not all that rusty. The wheel arch still surprisingly good. It does have a factory deflector, but the roof rack that's on there really is about 10 years older than this car. It's really more correct for like a 50s or 60s and honestly doesn't fit the profile of the roof really very well. It is kind of a neat aftermarket rack. It is adjustable for a smaller or larger car. This one I got off of like a 62 Galaxy Wagon Country Sedan. So it's got still all of the pieces here. You snap those off and then it brings it in for a smaller intermediate car like a Fairlane or Nova or something like that. So that piece probably probably be separate from this car. It's just sitting on there to keep it up off the ground here in the yard. Tailgate, you can see, unfortunately, he's led a pretty hard life. Thing rusted out and then somebody cut in there probably to try and access window motor or something inside, which really is unnecessary because there's access panels, but it is what it is. Honestly, wouldn't be super tough. Wouldn't be the end of the world to roll a new skin and reskin that, especially because you've got this separation line would make a good area to put that seam underneath. But I was lucky enough to be able to get a hold of a replacement gate off of a salvage car. And so I do have a whole replacement gate that can go with it. Rear bumper, solid, does have a big dent. So that's something just need to be straightened, repaired, send it off to the plate shop. I don't exactly know what this little guy here is, if that's supposed to be some sort of a hinge cover or some sort of a step that folds down. Just not exactly certain on that. If you do know what that is, you can drop a comment and fill everybody in. You can see this thing came out kind of a old junkyard and so they've used it to store parts. There's a Turbo 350 sitting on that access panel. And still, late in September, it's pretty hot, so I'm not in that much of a mood to brave the heat in here and move that thing around and see if it's a third seat or not. Could be, could just be a six seater. It's hard to say for sure. I think I do have all the original wheel rims for this. That's a specific kind of wide station wagon wheel. And then it does have the bubble for the disc brake clearance. Some of the door latches on these aren't operable. So if you guys saw my video of the 67 Impala, I have a video for getting those doors open. See, there's more parts in the inside. You've got your GM corporate bucket seats in there. I actually did pull the gas tank out, and it is in good shape. You can see on the dashboard there, you've got the Kingswood call out. Front seat has been replaced, it's blue. So that passenger door, the latch doesn't grab. This back one, I believe it works. See still original carpet in there. Just an old car, needs restored. That back door, opens and latches properly so it's good to go you 
can see driver's front door. To me, that's fixable. There is a little bit of a scrape down there too, but that parts car would give you a good driver's door if you wanted. So that one does not open. It's gonna need to be given the treatment as I call it. Probably pull that front seat off just to get room to work. It's gotta come out to get the old carpet out anyway. Pull the door panel off, work that latch, get it open. Passenger door, obviously that latch doesn't work, so it needs to be probably swapped off of the other car. This back door does open, shuts and latches, so back doors are good to go. Front doors need some attention. See in there, it's got the original AM radio, AC vents, of course. It is a straight steering column, not a tilt. More parts in there, power seat track, some small block heads. Here's what I was talking about on the roof. You can see just covered over with some body filler, which obviously not the right way to fix it. Do you see in just a few little places there, there are some pinholes of rust, which not terribly hard to kind of roll a patch in there and get that put back right again. And then over on this side, you can see this quarter panel got similar issues going on like the driver's side does. A little close to the Galaxy here, but you can kind of see the Bondo pieces that they've put back in. So just needing some work and some attention and some help on that quarter. That's a quick look at the 69 Chevrolet Kingswood. This car is available. I do have a title for it. It's kind of pinned in the middle of the yard here, so be a bit of a chore to get it out. But if somebody seriously is interested in it, it can be done. And I do have in the description box the details and the pricing for this car. And stick around a little bit here, and I'm gonna take you over and show you the four door parts car. This car is a 1969 Impala four door post. Got this one as a parts car, mainly for the front fenders, front bumper, the hood, make the rest of the wagon complete. The wagon did have a dented door, and so this one. Four good doors on it. Some of these GM cars and any manufacturers, station wagons in general, occasionally the back doors have a different shape to the upper window. This one, the doors are different. You see the top has more of a arch to it, whereas the station wagon's more squared off. So anything in the Front portion of the car, pretty usable stuff. This one equipped with a 350 small block and it's also non-AC car. So not everything is gonna work, but the wagon's complete enough that it really mainly just needs a few of these body panels. Take a look inside, pretty basic car, automatic, complete. It has had the critters in it, it's kind of shredded. Just a good, complete rolling parts car for the old wagon. And look at that, right here we've got the grill, lower grill, and a pair of headlight bezels.